Louisville, Kentucky, welcome to SWF Shootout. Those of you that are watching at home, these fans are cranked and fired up. We've got a fantastic show for you tonight. All the superstars you want to know, you want to see the champs, they're on the show. Let's take a look and see who is going to be opening up our show here tonight. We are starting things off with our Lone Star champion, money man himself, Duke Zenda, taking on Mason Foster. He has been going at it with SDC when we should have seen Duke Zenda versus the Savage John Robb. SDC interrupted that and got a victory over the champ last week, surprising. Then we've got Jesse Newman and Malcolm Black going at each other again. They faced off last week in a tag team match and the Fallen Kingdom got that victory, and Malcolm Black won two episodes ago when they faced off. Then we've got the team of Ebony and Ivory, Jackson Montgomery and Amari Williams taking on Thriller and The Clutch, Siler Jordan and James Frost, Brett Storm on every episode until Southern Stampede. He has taken on the Savage John Robb. I do not envy Brett Storm right there. And then we have got Jay Wolf taking on Seb Abbott, Jay Wolf is, of course, your Maverick champion. Seb Abbott, one half of your Gunslinger tag team champions. But let's get this show on the road. It is Duke Zenda taking on Mason Foster. Well, folks, Duke Zenda, as I mentioned, a Lone Star champion, of course, opening the show here tonight which is quite strange to say the least, but he uh, he might have some things on his mind. As he as I mentioned, he didn't get to face off against John Robb a couple weeks ago, and then he faced off against SDC and lost that matchup last week. So the Lone Star champ might, might be in it and deep. So, we're going to have to see what happens as the night progresses because this is the go-home show to Southern Stampede. And I am incredibly excited to see what's going to happen there. We might we might see the uh, Gunslingers champions, Leo and the Sleaze. We might see Seb Abbott doing double duty that night. Jay Wolf taking him on, taking on Seb Abbott, excuse me, for the Maverick Championship. So... I don't know what might happen. And there's a lot of stuff that could happen here tonight. And a lot of it's gonna go into Southern Stampede. Also at Southern Stampede, opening that, this is gonna be fantastic. Opening the pay-per-view, we're gonna have an eight-man battle royale, an invitational, where we have eight people that have come in and they are gonna battle for a roster spot. Brian Riley requested his release and SWF granted that release um, and we wish him well in future endeavors. We have eight men starting Southern Stampede, Jay Temple, Yuri Cato, Brandon Ace, Franco, Robert Hall, Crimson, Jackson Carr, and the Radioactive Wonder. They're all going to be competing in an eight-man battle royal. The winner of that battle royal, uh, excuse me, ladder match, eight man ladder match. What is this? What is this? I'm sorry, I thought this was supposed to be SDC. I was talking about him so much. I was thrown off, my apologies for getting my notes mixed up. Mason Foster opening the night, uh, just as he did last week, he took on Brett Storm where Brett Storm came out on top. My goodness, your boy is scatterbrained. Oh, talking about su uh, Southern Stampede. An eight-man ladder match so to determine who's gonna get that roster spot. And you never know, it's always open to uh, maybe a couple of others too. So the winner of that 
Ladder match is going to pull down a contract to be part of the SWF roster. I am super excited. we got some great looking dudes. They're going to come in and they're going to do what they do best. So on to this episode of Shootout. Lots of things could happen here tonight, especially in this matchup that involves that man in the background, Duke Zenda. We're just going to have to see what unfolds as the night is opened up here. Mason Foster, baby! These two men ready to go. Center of the ring and Mason's gonna start things off with a kick. And look at this. Knee breaker, sit down knee breaker. Nice move there from Foster. And he is taking it to the champ. I am I'm bet willing to say if the champ cannot get a victory over Mason Foster here tonight, he doesn't have a chance at Southern Stampede. Duke Zenda has waited to be champion here in SWF for so many years. And he's finally achieved it. He finally got it at uh, Gold Rush. Look at him leaving the ring right now. He is upset, but Foster right into his face with a big right hand. My goodness. Fa uh, excuse me, Zendo has waited so long to do this, geez, to be the champion, and it might all be stripped away from him in, in just a short month. Oh, kick to the midsection now by Foster. Now, Foster put on a hell of a show last week, or a hell of a match against Brett Storm. Foster um, still part of the Fallen Kingdom, but kind of distan distancing himself from that group. Not uh, in a bad way, just to pursue singles action. And he's done a great job so far. While not coming out on top, not coming victorious, as the ref counts to nine, my goodness. Uh, he has still put on a great show. Uh-oh. And Duke's going to slide out of the ring. He is not having any of this matchup at all. Foster says, where's he going? And Duke is heading up the ramp. Foster's going to... Is he going to get the count out? I mean, at this point, Duke just doesn't care, I don't think. I mean, what's he got to lose? What does he have to lose by getting counted out here? Nothing at all. He wants to stay fresh. He wants to hang on to that championship, and I don't blame him. And Foster, oh, I thought he might have had enough. And he wants to do everything he can to prepare for Southern Stampede in just a few short days. The ref, as Duke just walks back and forth on the stage, Foster's going to get the victory. The ref counts to nine. And, yep, there it is. Duke Zenda gets counted out. I don't know. I mean, I guess technically this is a victory for Mason Foster. Um, I, I'm. I mean, I get why. I get why he did it. I get why he did it. Your winner by count out is Mason Foster. Well, coming up next is a couple of guys that we have seen um, a lot lately in the last couple of weeks. We've got the Scottish psychopath Malcolm Black taking on Jesse Newman of Sons of Carnage. Now, we have uh, seen Jesse and Malcolm face each other many, many times in the last couple of weeks. We've had uh, Bruiser Brad and Jesse, or excuse me, James Gaines, the third show up and have a tag team match last week. But none of that matters. What's happening at Southern Stampede? Whoever wins this matchup is gonna have a big advantage for their team as they head in to the pay-per-view this weekend. So I'm interested to see how it flushes out. There are no teammates, there are no uh, stable mates, tag team members in the ring or around the ring in these matches. So. I'm interested to see because 
once they finish with each other, what's next for them? You got the birth, you got Thriller in the Clutch, you got Ebony and Ivory, you got Tropical Storm uh, Romance. So there's a lot happening. And a lot of teams that want those Gunslinger Championships and they want to take them away from Leo and the Sleeves. That's Leo McKay and said Abbott. So, all that said, first things first, you got to get through each other here tonight on Shootout. And Malcolm Black looks so ready, so fired up. He cannot wait. He is like that with every match. So, Malcolm Black making his way to the ring. Jesse Newman and James Gaines are some of the most brutal and ruthless uh, people here in SWF. They just don't care. The Sons of Carnage, Sons of Carnage, excuse me, they just don't care. And they don't you. And, and, and like I said, win or lose, it doesn't matter. They're going to bust you up. So here we go. Jesse Newman making his way down to the ring. Oh, wait a minute. He's not even... He's running. Malcolm Black stands in the ring. And here comes Jesse Newman. These two guys have been going at it. And he Malcolm Black looks around. Oh, Jesse spears him hard right into the into the apron there and these guys are going at each other hard they have been going at each other for weeks now and as i said malcolm black got the victory over jesse newman a couple weeks ago and the fallen kingdom beat sons of carnage just last week so i get why jesse newman is a little upset these guys have been at each other's throats for Oh my gosh, months, seasons even. So we could see this come to an end. We haven't seen Bruiser Brad and, and James Gaines battling each other other than those um, uh, other than those tag team matches. I mean, you can go back even further to the beginning of this month and Jesse Newman defeated Malcolm Black. So at this point, if you're keeping score and in, in, including the tag team matchup, the Fallen Kingdom, Malcolm Black, he's, they're 2-1 and one against Sons of Carnage and Jesse Newman. So anything could happen between these two tag teams at the pay-per-view. We got a lot of tag teams up uh, and ready to be tag team champions. So any advantage that these teams can provide themselves is just going to help them in the long run. Jesse Newman working over that right arm, oh my gosh, of Malcolm Black. This Scottish psychopath foot DDT. Really cranking away on the ankle there. Oh, nice DDT there from Jesse Newman. And quickly going down for the pin. One, no, just a one count. Malcolm Black's not going to give up that easily. Now we all know, as I mentioned, the pay-per-view is just a few days away. And there are many options just like we saw Duke, there are many options to take. There's many paths you can go. So, with that said, what's going to happen between all these guys? Are they going to take the, the easy road and do what Duke Zenda did and just kind of scurry out? Or are they going to fight each other like Malcolm Black and Jesse Newman? Oh, boy. Close to that announce table. Look at Jesse gearing up. Through the ropes and a big splash there right across the chest of Malcolm Black. Black with the reversal almost going through the table. These guys are locked in up and Jesse's going to push him away. Before oh, big chop to the chest and he's going to toss him around. Shout out to our sponsor, Hot Tag Pins. For all your wrestling lapel pin needs. Those are gonna that uh, link is down in the description. Up to number five now. Oh, look at Malcolm Black with the punch and the kick and a big uppercut just turns Black around. Back into the ring as the ref gets to seven. 
What is Jesse doing? Taking Black all the way to the other side, but no, Black's not having it. Shots to the gut now. Black's going to, nope. I was going to say put Newman in the corner. Second time that Rainmaker DDT to Malcolm Black and a count out at two. This Scottish psychopath is not ready to give up just yet. Jabs, punches, and kicks. Oh, boy. Look at this airplane spin. And Malcolm Black's hair flying around in the wind. Jesse now. Oh, going the opposite direction. Oh, your boy's getting sick. Oh, oh my gosh. And just dumped. And now even Jesse Newman's staggering around. Good lordy. Oh, I need, I need to get my vision correct here. Jesse with the cutter. I saw that one coming a mile away. Dizzy or not, the ref gets down. One, two, three. My goodness. Jesse not wasting any time in this matchup. Goes after Malcolm Black right away. Driving him into the apron. And then finally hitting him with the cutter to get the victory. These guys are tied two and two. What is going to happen with these two teams at Southern Stampede? Well, speaking of tag team action and Sons of Carnage taking on the Fallen Kingdom, we've got some tag team action right now. Ebony and Ivory, Jackson Montgomery and Omari Williams. Jack Moe is fired up. Omari, as always, playing no games. The man's a multi-champion in all other leagues he's been in. The man is the real deal. Jack Mo uh, came in as a competitor this season as opposed to a uh, manager last season. These guys are fired up. And where do they rank as far as um, as far as where they're located on that tag team lineage? Are they going to be able to possibly get a hold of those tag team championships who knows but they've got a big big task in front of them and that is the thriller and the clutch Siler Jordan and James Frost Siler Jordan we all know Siler has been around forever the natural born thriller he was pretty damn dominant uh, last season uh, came in this season and I don't know maybe maybe you could say he was possibly screwed out of the championship based off got cocky as always I don't know if he got cocky he was already cocky based off against um, Alex Corzo and due to an interference by Duke Zenda Alex got the win hit this big knee on Siler and got the victory that made it a triple threat match at Gold Rush where Duke not only won, but won decisively against Alex and Siler Jordan. And Siler Jordan formed this team here in SWF where they're, they're, they are a team elsewhere. Every other promotion, Thriller and the Clutch, dominate. Will they do that here? Will they do it here? I don't know. Boom! They are fired up. Let's see how this one plays out. I'm very interested to see how this plays out. Uh, both of these teams were in the Gunslinger Championship Tournament. Siler Jordan and Jackson Montgomery face off in the center of the ring. Whoa. What a move there by Jackson. Oh, nice suplex by Jordan. Siler Jordan and... Um, James Frost took on the Fallen Kingdom where they got the victory. And Ebony and Ivory took on Darkness Falls, Hades, Kid Hades, and uh, Lord Draven. They won their match there. And Ebony and Ivory almost made it to the end. And I was really rooting for them. Um, so who knows what's gonna, how it's going to play out. 
Thriller in the clutch, gone in the first round. Ebony and Ivory gone in the semifinals, uh, losing to the eventual eventual champions, uh, Leo and the Sleaze. But enough about that. Jackson Montgomery right now putting the screws on Siler Jordan, and by God, the commentator's curse strikes again just as I say that. Uh-oh. Just as I say that, Siler, oh, almost gets punched out of the air by Amari. That would have been awful. Reversal, oh, elbow to the face. James might want to move, and he, okay. Siler got that precision kick. He is calling Amari up to his feet. Big knee, no. Amari's going to push him away. Look at the strength of Amari Williams. Gut wrench, German suplex, I'm going to call that. Nice jawbreaker there by Siler Jordan. Big DDT plants Omari right on his afro. And now Siler gets out of this matchup. Just wise move there. Bringing in the clutch. As he's, uh-oh. He waited a little too long, Omari. Shots to the midsection by James Frost. And, oh, a takedown, following it up by a multitude of right hands by Amari Williams. He stomps on the back of James Frost. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Uh-oh. Frost did not like that. He's going to send Amari across the ring. And a sling blade plants Amari right on his back. But Amari answers right back with a clothesline. My goodness. Knee across the throat, maybe? The upper chest area? Man, these fans are booing. Something fierce. My goodness. Oh, Amari misses the splash. He goes face first into that turnbuckle. Nice snap mare. Oh, right hand, but it misses, it looks like. And... And Frost face first into the turnbuckle. And now some tag team. Uh-oh. European uppercut following it by a big neck breaker by Siler Jordan. Oh, Amari gets past Jordan. Tags in Jackson Montgomery, but Jordan quick on it. Big kick to the side of the head. Oh, my God, that might be it. For Jackson Montgomery. But Siler Jordan not going for the pin. That was a huge rainbow cutter. And this could be the end of Jackson Montgomery. He sidesteps. He sidesteps the knee. Doesn't take full advantage of it, though. Gets a backslide driver. All up in the ropes. Siler should have known that. Rope break. There by Jackson as a shoulder block sends him down to the mat. Whoa! Jackson went for the spear. And Jordan dodged out of the way. Nice arm drag reversal there by Siler Jordan. Shot to the face. And a knee. Oh my gosh, the knee right to the chin. Oh boy. Amari might have to come in and help his teammate in that big dragon cutter from Siler Jordan. Amari distracting the ref. Two, three, this match could have been over. And a two count. That was great, great strategy by Omari Williams there. Siler's going to send Jackson over again. I don't know if this part was smart, though, on Williams' part. Double suplex. Is Jackson going to get there? No. Frost shuts it down. Oh, my gosh. Jackson just hit Frost with a spear. We've seen that spear put many, many men away. And he goes down for the pin in just a two count. Just barely a two count at that. Oh, Frost not happy about that shot to the face. German suplex and Jake oh turning Jackson inside out holy cow 
Holy cow. And then mounted position. Big lefts. Look at that. Elbows across the forehead of the former uprising general manager. And now the clutch. Kick to the midsection. Oh, boy. Pop-up. Power bomb delivered to the backwoods. Badass. Everybody in the ring. Omari breaks it up but catches a punch to the side of the head before getting out of the ring. And look at this. Rings of Saturn style move here. This submission. If Amari doesn't get in there, this could be it for Jackson Montgomery. Frost has got it in deep and Jackson's able to get loose. My goodness. Frost threw everything at Jackson there. Uh-oh. This could be bad. This could be bad. Omari Williams is a lot fresher than Jackson Montgomery here. Oh! What is he doing? No, Jackson, don't do this. G superplex all the way to the outside floor. My God, Jackson Montgomery's a psycho. What a madman. What kind of crazy person would do such a thing? Back into the ring they go. Oh my gosh. And Jackson's able to get the tag on Amari Williams. Big clothesline to James Frost. And now, oh boy, what's Amari got playing here? From one side of the ring to the other. Goes for a clothesline and misses. Frost delivers a backbreaker into the neckbreaker. And look at this, quickly, very quickly, might I add, up top. He is telling Omari to get up to his feet here. Can't reach him, my goodness. But Omari is a little too dazed to figure it out. And still Frost able to, to take advantage a little bit. Oof. Big shot there in the corner by Williams. Oh, man. Another pop-up power bomb. This time to Amari Williams. One, two. Oh, a two count. Where's Jackson Montgomery? Is he still on the outside? And just like we saw with Jack Mo, Amari's going to get locked up, and I think his uh, arm was under the ropes there. Jackson's finally back at ringside. Big shot. Close line there. Ducks under. Kicks him right into the side of the head. Omari stumbles back into the corner. Oh. What is... Did Jackson just tag himself in? German suplex. Followed by a huge inside-out clothesline. I don't understand what's going on here. Calf kick. Oh, my gosh. Frost is cleaning house. And there he's showing... Why he needs to be part of the tag team conversation. The brutality of James Frost right now. Good Lord. Siler Jordan back in the ring. And Frost nonchalantly jumps over the top rope. This is madness. Oh, Jackson's busted open. Into the corner he goes and a big spear. Shoulder block followed up by an overhead belly to belly to Siler Jordan. Look at this. He's got him up chicken wing and drops him down into the mat. Good grief. And now Jackson's in control here. Shots to the knee. Jackson Montgomery's got... Siler Jordan up and hits him with the big spear. Oh boy. We're about to see the Southern Jackhammer, I think. What does that mean for Siler Jordan? Big Jackhammer right there. Oh, and a rope break. Siler's foot was under the ropes. Oh my gosh. Jackson sliding out of the ring. Right by Frost. I don't maybe is a I don't know what he's doing there. Oh, shot to the face. And a kick out reversal. 
Here we go. Nice reversal by Jackson. A little wrong place, wrong time to taunt. Siler tries to get the WTF lock, but Jackson's in the ropes. This match is insanity. I'd like to see either one of these teams in for those tag team championships. Back and forth, corner to corner they go. And look at Siler now. Oh, big shot to the gut. Goodness. They lock up. Siler pushes Jackson away. And hits him with the dragon cutter. And both men are sprawled out across the ring. Good God almighty. What is going to happen? Who is going to stir first? They're both moving both of their teams. Trying to will these men to their feet. Who's going to roll and get the tag or get the tag or get the pin? It looks like Siler Jordan first up to his feet quickly for the pin. Now one, two, and just like that, Amari Williams is a hair too late. And Thriller in the clutch get the victory. Oh, my God. Good God Almighty, this is crazy. Siler Jordan and James Frost. Your victors here tonight in one amazing tag team matchup. Well, folks, we got quite the interesting matchup coming up right now. Brett Storm, if you're just joining us, and I know I've said it on every episode, but Brett Storm has requested to be given opportunities and Puma applies. Puma has put Brett Storm on every card since Gold Rush, including Gold Rush, where he got the victory over Ryan Adams. He then got the victory over Elliot Collins, but then lost to SDC, who later that night, SDC came out and attacked Duke Zenda. Then Brett Storm beat Mason Foster last week. All that to say, John Robb is currently undefeated. He is currently undefeated. The only undefeated people in this federation at the moment are the Savage John Robb and Jay Wolf. Duke Zenda lost that when he lost to uh, SDC last week. I, this is insanity to me. The Savage John Robb should be up there with Jay Wolf, with Duke Zenda, with SDC, with Seb Abbott, all these guys that are at the top of the heap right now. Why is John Robb not there? He gets the victory over Brett Storm tonight. He just might. He just might get up there with those guys. Of course, it may happen after Southern Stampede, but nonetheless, it may happen. Brett Storm coming in here um, high on a, a victory over uh, Mason Foster. In the last uh, four matches, he's won three. I'd say he's riding high. I'd say he's riding high. Now, to be fair, to be fair, he's lost three matches. He's lost three matches. He lost a uh, eight-man battle royal. He has lost against Amari Williams. And then, you know, he, he has lost against um, SDC. So he's three and three, but out of his last four, he's three and one. John Robb, on the other hand, won a fatal four-way matchup way back in episode two. John Robb then went on and faced Amari Williams at the pay-per-view at Gold Rush and got the victory. John Robb was supposed to face Duke Zenda, but was attacked by uh, Duke Zenda was attacked by SDC. John Robb's beaten Elliot Collins, which Brett Storm has beaten Elliot Collins. This is a fa this is a great matchup. I'm saying all of these things to say this is a fantastic matchup. Amari, I'm sorry. The John, Savage John Robb and Brett Storm, this could be match of the night. The tag team match was up there. This could be match of the night. 
Brett Storm showing the just brutality. Oh man, big right hand by John Robin. He's gonna take down Storm and start laying the, the right hands on him. Another Texas native is John Robb from Fort Worth. He's uh, Texas brothers, if you want to call him that, with Duke Zenda, with Jackson Montgomery. Big knee to the face by Storm. Good God almighty. And another spear. No. Robb went for the spear, and Storm reversed it into a, a DDT. All right, great ring awareness now from Brett Storm. We got a lot of Texas folks here in SWF, and I mean, it makes sense. We are the Southern Wrestling Federation, brother. Big knees to the kick, or to the head, excuse me. Big feet, kicks to the head, my goodness. To the kidneys now, and another boot right to the head. Before bending the arm back, that it doesn't feel good to begin with. Oh man. And double knees to the back of John Robb. Brett Storm giving John Robb a run for his money. Good lordy. Just as I say that, John blasts him with a big right hand. These big forearm strikes to Brett Storm now. Oh. Storm with a sleeper slam. Nice move from Brett Storm. Look at this. The disrespect. The disrespect. Storm puts Rob, uh-oh. Oh man, look at this. Oh my God, look at the torque on the knee of John Rob. Good night. No, oh, Brett Storm went for the spear and Rob said, nah. -uh. Hits him with a big knee and drops Storm right across his knee with it. Oh, not even a one count. Brett Storm not ready to go, but a big soccer kick right to the gut. That'll take the wind all out of you. Nice reversal from Storm as he pushes Rob into the, uh, into the ropes. Kick to the midsection. Oh, big STO. Looked like Brett Storm was going for a clothesline and John Robb scouted it out. Shot to the stomach now. Forearm to, oh my gosh, look at this. Not only are you getting choked out, you're getting choked out with your own arms and bent over the knee. Good lordy. But quick, quickly, John Robb whips Brett Storm out of that. Shot to the face, no kicks now to John Robb oh my god like a shotgun blast Brett Storm planted that elbow right across the face of John Robb and he just gave John Robb his first loss Brett Storm has knocked off the undefeated savage John Robb holy cow that elbow came out of nowhere Brett Storm is proving to everybody where he should be in this roster. And folks, our main event of the evening. These two guys have been going at it since Gold Rush. Jay Wolf uh, holds the Lone Star Championship contract as well as the Maverick Championship. They are tied together. Uh, there might be a possibility we will split this up. There might be a possibility. More about that later. Jay Wolf, the inaugural episode of Shootout, the very first episode, he won an eight-man over-the-top row battle royal against Hunter King, James Gaines, Elliot Collins, Lord Draven, Malcolm Black, Lance Romets, and Amari Williams. He then went on to face the winner of the other eight-man battle royal, Bruiser Brad, who beat Evelyn Reeves, Brett Storm, Jesse Newman, Mason Foster, Leo McKay, Ryan Adams, and James Frost. On that third episode, Jay Wolf defeated Bruiser Brad, and that gave him the right to face Seb Abbott at Gold Rush for the Maverick Championship. Seb Abbott was the Maverick Champion from previous season when it was the television championship. 
it was changed. But now Seb Abbott has some more gold of his own. And it is that Gunslinger Championship. His tag team partner is Leo McKay. Australian sleaze, baby. And he is cool as can be. Will Seb Abbott be the first ever double champion? We have never had a double champion in SWF. That could all change. Seb could win the Maverick Championship back. But, but, Seb Abbott is not doing so hot since Gold Rush. Seb uh, lo has lost to Jay Wolf at the pay-per-view, of course. He did win against Lance Romance a couple weeks ago, but then lost to Jay Wolf again. And he was also part of Alex Corzo's team way back in Episode 3 when they took on Thriller in the Clutch when Corzo and, and Siler Jordan were at each other. And he lost that match. He didn't lose it. Alex Corzo lost it, but nonetheless. Seb Abbott, currently 1-3. Jay Wolf, after that incredible victory by Brett Storm, Jay Wolf is the remaining undefeated man on this roster. He's the only one. 5-0. And, oh. and Jay Wolf starts this match off with a huge crossbody clothesline. To Seb Abbott and geez, Gorilla Press Power Slam. Oh my gosh. And a huge power bomb. A deadlift power bomb to Seb Abbott. And he's got him way up in there again. And this time showing the strength. I hate to say this, but I don't know if Seb has got it in him to defeat the Wolf. And quickly for the pin. Just a one count. Oh my gosh. To give Seb a chance, we might have to make this match have some stipulations at Southern Stampede. <laughs> Holy cow. Good God Almighty. He's just pushed Seb Abbott to the ground like it was nothing. And Seb finally with a little bit of defense and offense. With that STO style move. And geez, Jay Wolf just completely flatlining Seb Abbott. But Seb delivers a shoulder block, knocking the big man down. Holy Toledo. My goodness. Seb has got to mount some kind of offense here. And another big body splash clothesline. Jay Wolf putting on his almost 400 pounds across the midsection. Look at what a takedown there. Training with Daniel Cormier, it looks like. And Abbott's pushed away and way belly to belly over the top to Seb. Holy cow, look at this. Spinning power slam. And Jay Wolf is in full control now. Kick, no. Commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. Seb, he's a little too close to the ropes, and the ref sees it. Jay gets the count out there. I'm sorry, the uh, rope break. As he slams Seb down to the mat. Oof. He's got him Seb by the throat, and a big right hand to the midsection. Puts Seb Abbott down on the mat. And just Jay Wolf pretty much having his way. Oof, with Seb Abbott now. Good Lord. And here, oh! It looked like, oh my goodness, STO reversal. Seb might have been going for that clothesline from hell. Look at the strength. Good God Almighty, power slam center of the ring. One, two, no, no. A kick out. Oh my gosh. Seb is, is really trying to stay alive here. And not any more. Oh! He drops Seb right on his head. And that could be it. 
The ref gets down. One, two. Oh, not even a full moon can put Seb Abbott away. Holy cow. Not yet anyway. I'm going to say not yet. Because Jay Wolf, like I said, doing what he wants pretty much with Seb Abbott right now. Huge right hand. Seb's already missing teeth. Nice arm drag there. Knee to the lower back. Start stomping the same area. Maybe trying to throw the big man off with this in a one count only. And now Seb stomping away. Oh, right to the back of the head. Big knee right across the chin. Right across the mouth of Jay Wolf. Oh, man. A lot of, a lot of damage to the head here. He is really focusing in on the big dome of Jay Wolf, and he hits him with a huge clothesline. He has just flattened the Maverick champion, and now punch after punch, kick to the midsection. Uh-oh. Can he do this? No. Jay is almost throws him out of the ring, just back body drops him into the corner and knocks Seb right off his feet. Holy. Big shot sending Seb down to one knee. And then a club sends him all the way down. Look at Jay Wolf. Huge power bomb. You know how much strength you gotta have to be able to pick somebody up flat off their back? Oh my gosh. Kick to the back of the leg now. Seb not ready to give up. Shots to the midsection, not going to get that suplex going. And another clothesline takes Jay Wolf down to the mat. And, oh my gosh, look at the limber, limberness, limberosity. Jay Wolf is limber. But big right hands, oh, to the midsection even. Oh man, quick. Gorilla press slam gut buster. He's coming from well over eight feet high right across the knee of Jay Wolf. Clothesline after clothesline. Sending Seb into the corner. Jeez. And a big body splash type spear from Jay Wolf. And here we go. Center of the ring spinning power slam from your Maverick champion. Is that going to do it? One, two. Oh, so close, and Jay thought it was too. Seb says, not today. Wolf pulling Seb Abbott up to his feet. We saw this last week. No. Oh, my gosh. Big forearm knocks the big man down. But he's quickly back in it with a clothesline. Oh, my goodness. These guys are fighting like they absolutely hate each other. Jay over the top rope. And brought back in with a nice hip toss. And then Seb's going for the pin off the hip toss on a one count. I don't think so, Seb. Not after what you've been going through this matchup. Seb sending Jay over the top rope. This is a non-title matchup, remember, folks. Oof. Big headbutt sends Seb down to the floor. After Jay caught his punch. Did you see that? Jay may be looking for some kind of power slam and a Thez press. Excuse me, a choke slam and a Thez press from Seb Abbott. Oh. Kick to the midsection. The ref is at five. Fireman's carry reversal. And. Oh, Seb's going to miss with the right hand and Jay Wolf's going to. Come back into the ring. Oh, neck breaker there by Seb Abbott. Oh, man. And Seb is tired, and Jay is not moving. And Seb now taking, well, I don't want to say he's taking control. I don't want to jinx it. Oh, man, it looks like it's what exactly what I did. Jay has got Seb way up and just, Oh my God, into a pile driver. Good God almighty, this could be it. 
And it's just a two count. Holy cow, Seb Abbott's busted open. Vertical suplex into a pile driver. What a insane move that was. And a third spinning power slam to the former Maverick champion. And instead of going for the pin, Jay Wolf continues to attack him. Jay Wolf continues to attack him, and we might see the full moon again. If he hits the full moon here, Seb Abbott is done for, I'm afraid. Right on his head. He lands hard. Jay's going to pull Seb away from the ropes, and this could be it. One, two, no! What? What? Seb Abbott not ready to give up. He might not have a choice, but he does. He makes a choice. He goes for a clothesline from hell and gets hung up on the top rope. I right now by Seb. Seb's got Wolf on his shoulders. Delivers an AA, dear God. He rolls through. He rolls through in the second one center of the ring. Is Seb going to give Jay his first loss here tonight on shootout? Oh my god, he does it! Seb Abbott does it! Jay Wolf has just gotten his first loss here in SWF. And Seb Abbott acts like it was nothing. These guys are tied going in to Southern Stampede. Who's walking away with a Maverick Championship? That's it for our show tonight, folks. Join us soon for Southern Stampede. Good God Almighty! Good God Almighty!